Welcome to our interviewing studio. Today we have a very special guest who is a Hollywood actor and a Broadway star. And he was also nominated for a Otani Award. Welcome to the Zick and Zag show. Mike. Hey! <laughs> thank you. Thank you too for having me. I've always been wanting to get on here and I've been waiting for you guys to call me. So thanks for finally having me. What have you been up to lately? Uh, well, I've been here in Ohio hanging out with my family and usually I just walk my dog around the neighborhood and that's how we met. And uh, ever since we met, I've just been knocking on your door telling you guys, get me on your show. So that's what I've been up to, is harassing you guys. <laughs> We've been making a lot of movies lately. That's what I hear. And I'm working on one about the 10 minute stop motion. And I've made seven minutes and five seconds so far. You're nearly there. Yeah, it's good. So tell me about your movies. What have you guys been making? We've been making a lot of Beanie Boo movies. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what are those? These are Beanie Boos. And we're very famous for them for making lots of movies. So, okay, maybe not famous because we only have 15 seconds. No, they're movies. famous. <laughs> no, they're very famous. And what's my name? I guess? Slush. Slush. You can always remember. Oh, right. On the butt. <laughs> Slush. <laughs> and mine's na name is Audrey. Audrey. And Audrey's a monkey? Yeah. Okay, and? This is Isabella, the husky. Mm. Rainbow husky. Very cool. Cool. So and you've been making little videos with these guys. Yes, they, uh, there's some very... <laughs> 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 Some very common bean moves that we use in our uh, videos, like Lindy the purple cat, Pablo the yellow and purple dog. There is Isabella, Rusty rat the raccoon, Dexter the chihuahua. I see. Lots of characters. Yes, lots of characters. Lots of subplots. Yes, my favorite movie that I've probably done is probably Leona's Christmas Wish which is a story about, it's stop motion actually, mm -hmm. and it's about Leona the Green Leopard, and for about three years she's been asking Santa for her father to come back from the military. Mm. So we ha she's writing her letter, right. and then she goes and puts it in the mailbox, and then a special surprise come up the next morning, but I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, because we're not done making it yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, what have you been doing lately? Um, well, I have been working on a television show in Austin, Texas, and we are hopefully finishing that up soon. Um, before that, I was working on uh, the new West Side Story movie with Steven Spielberg directing, and uh, we finished that um, last September. And that is supposed to be coming out here very soon. Um, obviously, everything is a little delayed uh, because of the state of the world, but it'll come out very soon, I know. Um, and for the time being, just being with my family and being back here in Ohio. That's what I've been working on. Yeah. Okay. When did when did, I do, when did the idea of becoming an actor come to your mind? When did the idea of becoming an actor come to my mind? Um, you know, as a kid, I always enjoyed playing pretend. And I always enjoyed, um, you know, playing with uh, toys and making stories out of them, kind of like what you guys do. And um, I just always would play pretend. And so I'd run around this neighborhood that we're in and I would be an army guy and I'd dress up in camo and like hide in the dirt or you know a cowboy or something like that and I just always kind of played characters as a kid yeah and what inspire you to become an actor like a mm. toy a uh a, fam a really famous actor it was a movie um called singing in the rain which I'm not sure if you guys have seen but you guys have homework so you have to watch singing in the rain starring gene kelly uh it's maybe one of my favorite movies of all time 
and it is a movie musical. And uh, after seeing that, I kind of told my parents that I really wanted to get into dance class. And so they did. And so that's kind of what started it for me. Wow. We have a similar teacher. We do. Who's that? For, for tap. For tap? And Who's the teacher? Miss Jerry. Miss Jerry. Oh, sure. Miss Jerry. <laughs> Love Miss Jerry. <laughs> and you like tap dancing? Yeah. Cool. Me too. That was my favorite growing up. Yep. My favorite dance was Irish dancing. Okay. And uh, for a couple of years, like two to three years, I did it. But then, like, the wigs were really annoying me. Like, big puffy wigs mm -hmm. that made my head, like, feel like it was burning off. Oh, man. And I was like, okay, no way, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> my hair is curly enough. It doesn't have to be... <laughs> Fair enough. If, and if you were... If you had other options than just being an actor, hmm. what would they be? Hmm. That's a hard question. Um... I would have to try, I don't know, I like creating, I like working with my hands, so um, I like doing woodwork, I like uh, um, working outside and things like that, so I probably would find something along that, in that world. Yeah, uh, I really like to uh, create art mm -hmm. and take uh, pictures in my backyard. Mm of the birds and the squirrels yeah. and the chipmunks and the groundhogs and the skunks and so else. So I think that maybe I could take a picture and then I could paint it and then like sell it maybe on like and make a little shop. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. What were the pros and cons of being an actor? Mm. Well, there are plenty of cons that uh, definitely come along the way. It's a hard uh, job and there's a lot of setbacks. There's a lot of people that say, no, you can't do this job. Uh, you're not right for the part. And um, I think the biggest pro about being an actor is working through those cons by, um, you know, taking those all of those no's and turning them into yeses for yourself and working through um, all of that. Yeah. And what advice would you have for someone who really wants to become an actor? Uh, my advice is if you want to be an actor, always focus on the why. Why do you want to be an actor? Um, you know, things like fame or fortune, um, you know, those are things that uh, you realize don't actually feed the soul of an artist. And the most important thing is for you to stay true to who you are and uh, what makes you special. Because that's what's interesting. That's what you have to offer is yourself. That's a really good answer, Thank Mike. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zig. <laughs> and the biggest question of them all. Uh-huh. Why did you keep your hair so long for a while and then decided to cut it off? Oh, I grew out the hair for a role. I grew out the hair for the show I was working on, Dear Evan Hansen, and creating that character, Connor. And then um, when I was done with the show, I no longer needed it. And you were nominated for the Tony Award in Non Anthem Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> What are you most afraid of? <laughs> Zag! That is <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> That's so deep. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid of... Uh, I'm afraid of snakes. I was walking on the creek here the other uh, this morning and I saw a very long snake. It was a black snake, so uh, I knew uh, not to be afraid of it. It was probably Trickster. 
Trickster? Yeah. Did he have like a yellow stripe on the end? I did not see a yellow stripe. It could have been Trickster's girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> so uh, one day, um, Zag and I were walking down the green bridge and uh, there was a big black Big and black yellow. snake just on the uh, wooden bridge. No. Where and it then connects like, to the green. Screamed. And, no. and Zag screamed like it was the end of the world. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> <laughs> wow it was hilarious so we named him trickster cool trickster my most thing i'm afraid of is probably of the dark but it's not what i'm afraid and i'm not exactly afraid of the dark i'm afraid of what hides in it exactly like, the unknown because one day i found a spider crawling my bed i was like i slept in that <laughs> i was like horrified yeah <laughs> understandable was it hard to memorize your lines? Um, you know how I memorize my lines? How? I write them down on cards like that. So I take this card, and then I write down the person's line before me, and then I write down my line, and then I just go through them like that. That way I can get up and do them. What was your favorite uh, line or quote that you made in one of your movies? Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything from anything that I've said, but I think one of my favorite bits of advice um, is something from the godfather of acting, Stanislavski, and his thing is, number one, work on oneself. So in order to be an actor, you have to constantly be working on yourself. And what is your favorite movie that you starred in? My favorite movie that I've been in, um, probably West Side Story. I've had I had a lot of fun with that one. Okay. So, tell us about your dog Austin. What does he think about all of his quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> Austin is uh, a big, uh, strong dog uh, who's super kind and loving and playful, um, and he likes the quarantine because I'm around all the time with him. So that's Austin. He's awesome. I can do always playful because I can still I can still feel the slobber all over my face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what is your favorite place in the world? Wow. My favorite place in the world is probably in a book. Being in a book. That's my favorite place in the world. My favorite place is probably being in my room, mm -hmm. jotting down in my book that I'm writing, mm -hmm. drawing new, coloring in the pictures of my comic book, mm -hmm. or just like creating like new drawings that I've been working on. That's great. What's your favorite place, Jag? Well, I like, I also like being in my room, but normally in my bed. Yeah, I'm just sleeping. With all of my toys. Oh, fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her baby otter sleeps inside a dark cave with that is very, very soft. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any other pets before Austin, or was he your only pet? Uh, he's the only pet that I've taken care of personally. We had pets as a family growing up, dogs. My sister was very into pets. She had a pet rat. She had a pet hamster, pet rabbit, pet um, ferret. We had, she had a ferret for a little bit of time. Um, let's see, she had a bunch of pets. Of course, fish and things like that. Um, right now, she currently has three dogs and two cats. Yeah. It would be hard for her to tell if she was a dog lady or a cat lady. It would be hard, yeah. One of my friends has a pet tarantula. Wow. That's she, scary. She feeds him like crickets. Oh. Does he know. catch the crickets? No, um, his owner just gives them. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen Home Alone? No. What? Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> You haven't seen Home Alone? You've seen Home Alone. Okay. <laughs> I know that there's like a kid who uh, 
his parents leave him alone at Christmas. Yes, yeah. correct. And then robbers break in, and correct. then it's just like a battle. Yes, like, come <laughs> alone. And there's it's the like... scene exactly. <laughs> and there's the part in the movie where his brother has a pet tarantula, and the tarantula gets loose, and it ends up crawling on the guy's chest, and he's like, "Don't move." And he takes like his bat and he hits him straight in the stomach and the tarantula escapes. And he keeps hitting his partner in the stomach. It's a very Aww. funny movie. Yeah, that yeah. is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, okay. do you believe in magic? Of course. Like any type of magic. All of magic, yeah. Yes, I do too. Of course. I keep wishing every night. It's real. Just to see a fox. Just to see a fox. Oh, you'll definitely see a fox. I want to sure. see a cheetah. You already uh, have. It's, it's definitely possible. But I don't remember. <laughs> I remember one of your memories. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see a cheetah. No doubt. And did any like funny things happen to you when you were a kid? Or like really bad accidents? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Um, some of the bad accidents that I've had as a kid. Um, I remember, uh, in the neighborhood, I had a friend over and we were playing, you know, we were tossing the football and he tossed it and I was running after it, but I was looking like this and I went to go get it and I ran straight into a pole. That was a good one. Oh. <laughs> I had this really, really bad accident yeah. where I was playing soccer mm -hmm. and, um, uh, it was one of my best games, my ninth game, I think. It was about two years ago. And I was running after the ball. Mm -hmm. Then I fell to the ground, and the, the girl from the other team stole it. And as she stole the ball, her cleat came up to my forehead, Ow. and there was a big, like, gash, like, uh. right above my eye. Ow. And then one of my teammates was like, and I was like, what? And I kneeled down for myself because I didn't know what to do. I'd never been the one hurt before. Right. And it's just like kneeled down. And that was just wiping his like, <sighs> it's just blood over my fingers. Oh, and when uh, my dad didn't know what was going on, and then uh, one of my teammates said, There's blood! <laughs> and then he came running over immediately. Right. And the worst thing is, my mom wasn't there, and she's a doctor. The worst times. Hey, Zach, what was one of your uh, funny incidents? I don't really have any. None? Well, once I was riding my scooter, and there was, like, a bump on the sidewalk, and I fell down. Ow. And I had, like, three scratches, like, two on my arm and one on my knee. Wow. One of our neighbors, like, like, picked her up, like, um, dramatically. Like, she was, like, hanging like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she had big, huge, like, he, oh. he called, he's like, he, she's got a few strawberries. And, like, strawberries? Is she a plant girl now? Yeah. You have strawberries growing out of your arms and legs. <laughs> And she doesn't eat watermelon right away because she's scared of the seeds. Mm. She I don't. Care. I don't she, like the seeds. That's fair. I don't like. How can you not like watermelon? You might as well just drink watermelon juice. There's no I still seeds. like watermelon, but I don't like the seeds in them. So. That's fair. <laughs> what was your favorite toy while you were a kid? Um. Uh, well. I actually don't remember, but I do know that my mom brought over a game to you guys not too long ago, and she says that this was my favorite, and I really think the name is funny if it was my favorite. The name of the game is what? The Game of Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really funny game. Anyone can buy it. Here, show the, show the audience. Perfection. Anyone can buy it? You could still buy yes. this game? I think. Did you look it up on Amazon? I think. Mm. No, I didn't. Probably you can. You're probably correct. Wait, where am I? Okay. Let's make some room. Yes. Just, just put it on the, the corner. So everyone can see. So it's a really, really fun game. So how you play is you put it on stop. Right. And then you push this down. Right. And you set the timer for on zero. And then you do it for, uh, well, this is already set. And you crank it up. And then, three, two, one. You oh, it's put going. The piece, pieces in. All right. Put the pieces in. Come on, in Zag. To, to win.
Oh my. Ooh. It's a nerve wracking game. Oh my. And it's really it's hard there. because you're, uh, We're gonna win. Fine. It's much harder if there's only one person. They're not gonna see how the game. Because we won. Put it there. So, what happens when you win? So, um. Because we won. Nothing really happens. Oh, you just you wait now? Just, yeah, if you want to wait, uh, you can just wait. Or, um. You can press stop. You hear it slowing down. Oh, you press it, stop. So if it starts yeah, this to is slow a very down, exciting thing. That means time's ticking. You only got five seconds left. Oh. <laughs> it gets me every time. Every time. It's very good. Unless you don't look. It's and true. so yeah, that's the game of perfection. Very fun game. Probably one of my favorites. But it isn't as good as Trouble. Trouble. Hmm. Hey Zig. Hey Zag. Thanks for having me on your show. Thank you for letting us have you on our show. Oh my gosh. Had the best time. Us too. All right. Bye, all. Bye, Mike. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and that was our interview with Mike Feist. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and there will be more movies coming soon. Stay tuned. This is Zig and Zag, out.